exciting hour of international championship wrestling. A big hour with lots of action coming up for you this hour. But before we even get into what's happening this hour, obviously you can see Chicken Little has returned from his uh, escapades of a week ago against Ray Odyssey. Holly, and uh, we'll let you know, obviously, that he is back as co-host of the show. Uh, it got from bad to worse, I guess, Pauly Dangerously to... Uh, Look, don't be dropping names out. Look it up, hey. Like, I ain't got nothing better to do than hang out with Bald Bob Dow, the man that got the widest part in anybody's haircut ever in the, in the whole the whole century of mankind. Every time people think of haircut, you got the best one. But anyway, Dow, hey, listen up. I left. I was on tour. Internationally famous star that I am. They get dolls of me now, Dow. Check them out. I mean, any local goofy store. Hey, I left here, and not only did I leave, you know, I had my qualms about leaving you. I didn't know if you could handle it. So I set it up. I got you somebody. Not only is he an excellent talker as far as commentating and everything else, but the guy has managerial skills far, far above anybody else in the world. He's had champions everywhere he's been. You're talking about Paulie Dane. Of course I'm talking about Paulie Dane. You bring, I bring him in here, and he comes in to take my place. Hey, he, I wasn't going to even do a danger zone, but no. You bring in that nitwit diamond district guy, uh, Jim, what's his name, Brady? That's his name. That nitwit, the, the, what, you're trying to lose ratings now? What was going through your mind? Now you're getting a big argument because you ain't got your coffee, you ain't got your Danish, you ain't got your donuts. What's the deal, Dow, huh? We're going to try to run a great product here for the rest of the world to see, and you're all bumming people out because you can't handle who's sitting next to you. You have to have me back. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, he does not want to discuss what happened last week with Ray Odyssey. Oh, my heroic? Did you see how injured and everything down? Injured. I have him on my deathbed going in and, and, and performing. I agree. I, I appreciate that one. The Big Mouth from Boston back with us for another hour here on International Championship Wrestling. As we get into the show, the main event today, Tony Atlas gets a shot, or I should say just the reverse, the roadblock. A man you saw earlier in the Open today who took on four opponents last week. Whoa. Today he gets a title shot. Whoa, four said, Whoa impress me so much. Uh, I bet you don't win today. Oh, yeah. Your loyalty is all along. I, I, I have a little inside knowledge of this one, Dal. I, 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 I wouldn't be too sure about the roadblock. More importantly, what does Tony Atlas think? Well, let's find out. He's going to kick his butt. Roadblock. Tonight is your night of defeat. Tonight is your night to meet the man. Tonight is your night to get whooped like you never got whooped before. Tonight is your night. Once again, you're going to meet the man. You ain't going to meet no imitation. You're going to meet the real deal, son. And don't make me know never, man, how I come out of there. As long as I come out of there with the gold. You have no idea what it takes to be a champion. You have no idea what it took to get here. Sure, you're a big kid. You're 375 pounds, you six foot nine. And you just got through whooping four men at one time. But tonight, son, is your night to learn respect. Tonight is your night to learn what it means to be in the ring with me. Now all you out there say, Atlas, what make you so big and bad? What make you think you so tough? I got the gold, son. Everybody else that come out here just got a lot of mouth because I got the gold. This shows what I'm all about. So no matter what nobody else tell you, you just take a look at who wearing the strap. And that'll tell you who the man is. I am the man. Well, look who we have now here in the ICW. Another ICW debut of Mr. Rumble. And this gentleman's name goes... This is Joe Cool. I know. Well, we can call you the Boston Bad Breath. That no, Joe Cool you see on your screen, the blonde-haired young man from out of the West Coast area somewhere. And he is going to be going against Mr. Ed Phillips right now. Ed Conrad. Conrad Phillips, all right. Conrad. Conrad. All right. Born Conrad cool, Phillips. And Joe Cool right now. Doing, yes, he is. He's doing a, doing a job on Mr. Phillips early. His debut on the ICW. He's going to be on his back real quick. Joe uh -oh. Cool. 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 Now that's a favorite hold of my book. Though. You don't know what a favorite. The only hold oh. that you know how to make is a hold when you hold your telephone and shoot your mouth off with somebody. Oh, yeah. At least I'm not calling those 900 dial sex numbers you call now. Boy, Brad Phillips down quickly as Joe Cruel right now in the ring. And that's he's cool. making that's his cool. ICW debut and doing quite a job of it right now. 
as he spreads the leg like a chicken wing and oh big oh head butt down into the midsection it looked like to me I, I, i'd say it was all over the net i can't well I don't I, know why the maybe it was no, 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 the name would fit with a move like fit, that you know, i still don't really like it no cruel smashes I like trust. he's got a whip looking at trunks but a tough guy and everything. Well, you want to be careful who you call Wimpy with the ability that you have to back anything up, Mr. Yeah, Rubble. Well, well yeah, yeah, we noticed that. that we noticed that last week when you were here against uh, Mr. Ray Odyssey, who you and your undertakers and TT Crunchy. That was two weeks ago. Man, it was, it was not two weeks ago. Him. Last week, we understand what it was. Last week, it might not even be until next All right, week. Don't you just get your stuff straight, now. All we know is that Ray Odyssey is in a hurt scenario. Hey, he's laid out. They carried him out. We popped over not only his neck, his shoulder, everything's wrong with Ray Odyssey. Well, it should be when you get deep. Hey, right. when, you when, you mess with the when you mess with the brotherhood, you go down. Four against one, and this some big, cruel. bad, brave brother. That's right. But let's look at Cruel. Let's not overlook what Cruel's doing to Don Phillips here. He's beating him like a dog. Got it, too. Didn't get the cover. But Phillips is an athlete. You can see that also. So it's not like Cruel's just beating up some schmuck. You know what a schmuck is, don't you, Dal? I learned that word while I was up here in Cushness. Yeah, I think it goes right in front of Tony Ryan. People kept calling, saying that. I don't know what it was all week. I, I, I kept calling you a schmuck? No, oh, I just kept hearing it going as I was walking uh, around. I can believe that. How the Joko being applied by Joe Cruel Beautifully in the center applied. of the ring. That was very well applied, too. Well, Dallas, you see, he had the Adam's apple in the palm of his hand. That was the way you're supposed to do it. Or Brett Phillips in some trouble right now. You know, the way he had that Adam's apple and the way uh, the Hawaiian Hurricane has the uh, pineapple, hey, he might have a fruit drink. There's the cover. It's all uh, over. ICW debuts a successful one for Joe Cruel. Yeah, Cruel doesn't even want to get his arms raised, and he gives the thumbs up sign to Mr. Rumble. So you can tell that Mr. Cruel with some talent, but what maybe not a whole lot between the years, obviously. He's a friend of yours. That's why he came to the IC stuff. You probably see me hanging out. Yeah, back with more here on the ICW, ladies and gentlemen. So Joe Cruel makes his ICW debut. We've got to talk now with Mr. Brandy, ladies. So turn up your oh. television. Mr. Tom Chippendale Brandy oh, is up next stripper, right here yeah. on the ICW. A stripper? Coming up next, Hawaiian Hurricane. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can take all the pot shots you want of me, because that's right, I'm down, I'm in the dirt. But no, you got to face this man, GQ Madison. Tell him, baby. That's right, Hurricane. I was there tonight. You hurt my man, Mr. Chippendale Brandy. I still can't believe what you did to him. A fine young man, a fine wrestler. Tonight, it's payback time. That's right. In Japan, a favorite delicacy is but you can't cut it like this. That's why we use the bonsai. The 1 800 334 4999. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the latest feuds that have erupted here in the ICW takes place with a couple of people that are both from a happy island, that would be our island of Hawaii. But last week you saw here on the International Championship Wrestling the Hawaiian Hurricane, and he obviously had a problem. I'm happy with, about that Hawaii. Hurricane. Has a problem with Victor Steamboat. There's something wrong with a happy Steamboat. Hawaiian, but not with a hurricane. Well, I don't know what the problem is, but obviously it started last week. As a matter of fact, if you missed last week, watch what happened as we had a ringside interview with Victor Steamboat. Wrestling fans, as you see with me now, Victor Steamboat, former half of the SNS Express, the half of the new dynamic duo. Victor, I guess the big question to ask this week on ICW, we see the Hawaiian Hurricane, who also, you being from the island, makes his way into the ICW. No secret, he's making it known to Bill After, to wrestling news throughout the world, that uh, you two at one time are going to be partners. Now he just kind of seems to uh, hate you, quite honestly, uh, Vic. Uh, you and him don't uh, seem to be getting along too well. Well, for one thing, our families have never seen eye to eye. But the Hawaiian Hurricane, a few months ago, I came up to him and approached him to be a tag team partner because of what happened to Joe and the way things have been going with Phil and I, you know, I was looking for a homeboy. Hawaiian Hurricane, you came out here and talking big words, uh, you're going to beat this, beat that, and put people out of wrestling. Let me tell you, son, you have no reason to call you a true Hawaiian because there's no Hawaiian around. Victor Steamboat, ladies and gentlemen, off camera, you'll see the Hawaiian Hurricane making his way into our interview here for absolutely no reason. And I'm not sure what this is all about. Let me say one thing, Steamboat. You had a chance to team with me to be the best tag team in the world, but you turned it down. It was the other way around. You couldn't face up to the fact 
Now, all these years, my side of the family has always been on top. Now, why can't you ever face that? You know, you see this right here? I don't need this. I don't need these people. I got wrestling talent. But there's one thing. is doing out there. That's what Victor Zebo, he's had enough of this Hawaiian hurricane in his big mouth. Oh, and shut up, Doc. Oh, you propaganda. You saw what happened when you started propaganda before. You just laid them out last week now. Yeah, what happened? The, what happened is the fact very simple that Vic Zebo oh, is up. trying to say, and what rightfully so, sport. this man is a good wrestler. He offered the Hawaiian hurricane an opportunity to join him. What does the Hawaiian hurricane do with his tactics, with his ethics? Look at Brandy. Look at Brandy on the stage. He's breathing it. I love it. He deserves it. That's what you get, Brandy. The same shipping deals. Remember that, sucker. Tom Brandy hurt, as you can see, very much. So GQ Madison and Victor Seaboat comes up to help. And again, this Hawaiian hurricane and Victor Seaboat. They met in a little tussle last week as you saw Victor Seaboat be smashed with a pineapple. Well, I didn't they see beat that again this I was hurt week. last week. Yeah, you were hurt, all right, you I big was coward. Hurt. And, coward. But I'll tell you, yeah, you were coward. just what I said. I you will, say that. you will see that Victor Seaboat and this Brandy. Hawaiian hurricane. I love it. Soon It's getting messy. Just hang about messy, don't it? Thursday. Hey, I, hey, I like pineapple juice. You know, Victor Steamboat, a young man, obviously a gentleman from Hawaii. You didn't see him coming over cracking everybody's heads with these pineapples. Hey, I don't have to think of something that's cool. Hey, that hurricane ain't nobody's fool. I'm going to tell you right now, Del. Hey, the guy is on a mission, and his mission is to eliminate Victor Steamboat from the You know, instead of a pineapple Steamboat. crack, would you like to see this right here? Pineapple crack, crack we'll get a lot of water. Ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We've got some more action here this hour on the International Championship Wrestling. We'll be back with more of it right after these messages. Is looking for a fundraiser, money raising promotion that called Flying CW, the hottest promotion available for the 1990s. The ICW features wrestling superstars like former Mr. USA Tony Atlas, The Undertakers, the Dynamic Duo, the Master. Ninja, Mr. Coco, Rick Stevo, Cowboy Bob Orton, and many, many more. If you want action, excitement, and a full house, don't delay. Call or write the ICW today. Write ICW, Post Office Box 6314, Park 70, New Jersey, 07054. That's ICW, Post Office Box 6314, Park 70, New Jersey, 07054. Or call 201-887-2698. That's 201-887-2698. Ladies and gentlemen, as we told you, you're coming up later this hour, the um, title event, the title match between the ICW champion Tony Atlas and Roadblock. But Tony Atlas, <laughs> should he be capable of keep maintaining and keeping it himself? Don't be can keep it. There's some big news in the ICW, and of course, that is the appearance now of uh, international championship wrestling, also going all over the country. The Japanese champion, a two shot all over the world. All over the country would be really on now. All over the world is Japan. Okay, thank you. You want to talk about the Orient? Well, geography, you know, okay. 
Atushi uh, Onita here in the ICW. Oh. He is the heavyweight champion of Japan. He's now? And if Mr. Atlas is able to sustain his championship today against Roadblock, the match has been signed that next week, Onita Atushi, Atushi Onita, will take on Tony Atlas. I'll bet you Atlas fights Onita. It will be a battle of the champions. And you know what's good about that is, ain't nobody going to like either one of them. See, that's the type of fight I want. Just two guys fighting. I don't care if you like them. I don't care if they like them. I don't care if I like them. I just want to see a fight. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like you. Like a fight. Yeah, right. Like nobody fight. likes. Like right. nobody and likes. Let's get one thing straight about this Onita. You know, he's got the will, they say, right? But my neighborhood, you know, where there's a will, it's usually a funeral. Let's check out Atushi Onita right now in action one week ago against Chris Michaels. Yeah, what's his name? His name, but you see him now in the ring against Chris Michaels. And Atushi right now uh, talking to the gods of what he's doing. Up there. So that, that is that mysterious green fog that is, that is uh, indigenous to many of the Japanese uh, wrestlers in pro wrestling. Hey, Bill, we'll take a look at our, again our first chance to see him in action here on the ICW, but coming up a lot of... Uh, oh, my God, look, he just hit with the fog. And, and look at the green fog all over. Chris Michaels down as he's down in the ground, and they see him in the mat. Wait, I don't know exactly. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't believe this. The referee saw him shoot the green fog. He's kicking it right now. The referee's standing there. What's going on here, Bob? Well, I'll tell you what I don't understand is all the various loopholes that they allow you to have in a scenario like this. Hey, let me tell you something. If I, if I was the commissioner of the referee at the ICW here, I'd disqualify him immediately. Well, obviously he comes out and with a green fog, as you call it, Bill. Wrestling fans, the ICW goes on tour the month of March at Farrell Hall, State University of New York, Friday night, March 30th at 7.30 p.m. All the ICW superstars you see each and every week will be at Farrell Hall, State University of New York, Friday night, March 30th at 7.30 p.m. And then on Saturday night, March 31st at 6 p.m. at St. Pat's Regional High School in Charlton, Massachusetts. Again, Saturday night, March 31st, 6 p.m. St. Pat's Regional High School, Charlton, Massachusetts. It's a big superstar show with the ICW. Friday night, March 30th at 7.30, Farrell Hall State University, New York. And then Saturday night, March 31st, 6 p.m. Bay Path Regional High School. Come on out and see the ICW superstars in person. And of course, here in the United States, as you're well aware of, Bill. And again, you see Onita go to work on Chris Michaels. And Michaels has really didn't know what hit him since that green clock started. Well, Michael tries to fight back a little bit. A couple of shots in the midsection. Onita now trying to figure out exactly what's happening. Well, let me tell you something. This man right now is showing credentials. You know, he's, Michael's is on his bicycle right now, but don't underestimate this tonight. Uh, let me tell you something. He's here for one purpose. He wants to shot at ICW heavyweight champion Tony Atlas. Well, there's no doubt about the fact that, that Onida came over here for that one purpose. And we have been told that should Onida get that match, we could be looking at a double title match down the road, too. We'll have more information on that well, later in this hour. Bob, I hate to interrupt you, but look at the great showing that Chris Michaels is showing right now. This chin lock could be taking its toll on Onida. I mean, he's weakening him slowly but surely. Onida had the beginning of the match all wrapped up. It looks like but Chris Michaels coming back. So there's not going to be any shot at Atlas unless he can get past Chris Michaels. I think one of the things, Bill, is you made points on the bar is that it did get Chris Michaels in the eye. Now, maybe I'm preparing the restoration breathing system, but he can still see. And it's oh. Oh, that maybe now he can. Look at that. Oh, super kick. Unbelievable. Unreal. A mistake by Chris Michaels. The experience of Oneida. Look at this. Oneida. Oh, my God. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, one, two, two, three. three. He's He's had had it. Oneida with the powerball oh. to save you here in international championship. This big crowd doesn't like him a lot, but Oneida, I'll tell you, he is here, as you well put, Bill. He came over to the States for one purpose, and that's to take the gold back to Japan. But Tony Atlas wears around him, and after watching his performance here, Michael Dunn may, be, uh, may not be Atlas, but I'll tell you, he will be a very strong force for Atlas to reckon with. What an incredible showing in his debut here in the ICW. Now, what you said to this right here? Now you see Michael Zuzow, he's down, he's already won the match, and Oneida pounding on him. There will never be another Berlin Wall. The Heat Department, I, Los Angeles, California. Part of the big news here in the ICW. Well, it's a nice hat from Boston. No, there's no question. Nice got room got hat. Obviously with yours. One of the big news in the ICW ever since Phil Apollo was injured in a studio accident about three or four weeks ago now with Paulie Dangerously and the Lethal Weapon is the fact that Phil Apollo has now gone, that's a fact, now has gone into managing. And as you saw last week, he's picked up the contract of the Cheetah Kid and the Leopard Mask. 
And coming up now in this segment, Mr. Rumble. I hate cats. Let's get that straight down. I hate cats. Rats are cool. I said before, rats are cool. Cats, I don't like them. Well, anyway, Mr. Apollo has now got one half of his tag team combination, and that being the cheetah cat yeah, and their leopard mask. And between the two of them, one of them is going to take on Doug Gilbert uh, in this segment right now, as a matter of fact. And I'm talking about... Uh, uh, yeah, hey, this is going to be a great one. Cheetah kid and oh, Doug Gilbert. One half, one half of the tag team champ. That's right. I guess the cheetah kid. Let's find, let's find out what Mr. Apollo and the Cheetah Kid thought about their upcoming match with Doug Gilbert. Oh. Hey, fabulous Phil Apollo, along with the Cheetah Kid, and this hour. I want to talk about this hour. This is our one-on-one, -on -one, man. This is where we get to prove to the whole world that we're just as good one-on-one -on -one as we are in tag team action. Oh, yeah, the whole world saw us beat you, man. No secret. We beat you fair and square. Just like I said we would. Okay? Now you want us to prove one on one that we're superior. Well, we're up to the task. Cheetah Mask. Gilbert, I tell you, brother, you got the most agile wrestler, the most acrobatic wrestler ever walk on the face of the earth. Look, up in the sky, it's the bird, it's the plane, it's. Well, maybe I'm not Superman, because there's one thing different about me. Gilbert, quit the night, don't bother me, baby. And you're next. You see, Doug Gilbert, the bottom line is, you're living off the reputation of hot stuff Eddie Gilbert. And now it's time for you to get in the ring and prove yourself, boy. So far, you haven't done a great job as far as I'm concerned. You never beat the dynamic duo once. You never beat Phil Apollo and Vic Stebo once. You didn't beat... Leopard mask and a cheetah kid. What makes you think you're going to be able to handle this boy one-on-one? -on -one? You're never even going to see him, man, because this guy's like greased lightning. It's all over. Let's you're finished. Away. You're going down. Let's fly away. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Dow along with the boss of Best Boy Tony Russell. Yeah, the one and only. The, uh, <laughs> we know what you are after your match with this guy. Part of the brotherhood. You wanted to know what it was? And I showed you up close. Out. Ladies and gentlemen, in the ring right now, you see the infamous Call Me Dangerous Elite. You see the tag team champions of the world. Along with his tag team champion, the lethal weapon. I don't want to know them, to be honest with you. That's what I said.
don't wear a neck brace that I don't need either, but that's another story. Hey, I was hurt. Yeah, you was. Some kinky old lady. Yeah, I'm sure, Mr. Rumble. Right now, Doug Gilbert resorting to the tactics that have made him half of the ICW tag He flings the cheetah kid down into the canvas, and again, he comes over to look for some high fives. I think he may be a little premature in his victory celebration. Well, you know, Doug, you're not as stupid as you look. You might be right on that one. But, hey, probably real confident. You got Polly in the corner, you got the lover boy in the corner, and all the cheetah kids can do is have forget that the Cheetah Kid has a fabulous fellow in his corner. That. I'm that against the ball, so. And now the Cheetah Kid put the big shoulder into the mid section of Doug Gilbert. Puts him across the ring into the turnbuckle. Big elbow. And Doug Gilbert is on his back and he is in some trouble. Low steam over. Comes off the rope. Comes down the move. Oh. Big move to the elbow. Right down to the throat. Throat. Right. That's illegal. Yeah. I just said that now. Yeah. Wait, 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 that's hey, he went for the neck, and all of a sudden, the Doug Gilbert. So, he's not the last. The big crowd here at Dodgers Resort, very much behind the Cheetah Kid. And the Cheetah Kid now waiting as again Doug Gilbert has to confer with Dennis Andre and with Paulie Dangerously. You know, I don't know why he goes outside to refer or confer with those three, because the three of them together haven't got enough range to come in out of the ring. It would take them, they could write all they know on a single sentence, the three of them. So I don't know what kind of advice Gilbert is getting from the outside. More than right tight to get from his corner, I'll tell you right now, so. Right now, the cheetah again, it puts Gilbert face first into the turnbuckles, and Gilbert is in some serious pain. How do you know what you think? You'll be playing possum. I don't think so, Mr. He's Rubble. You know, he's possum down there. We'll he knows see. Right now, the cheetah kid looks to me like it is possum he's playing with. As he goes, there's the big section. Boy, you should just hang with me. You never go for those extra money you spend on the road all the time. Hang with you. Boy, what a scary thought that is. Hang it tough, baby. The cheetah kid now down to one knee as Doug Gilbert fights his way back. Hey, Gilbert's a tough customer. I, don't, I will give credit where credit is due. Oh, thank you for bringing that to our attention. He would not be one half of the ICW Tag Team Championship if he were not a tough customer. What is that? Brilliant deduction now. I mean, the guy's tag team champion of the world. I don't look at the roll up. One, two. I don't see any roll up. He's got kind of two, is what I saw very quickly. Gina Kid almost pulling off the victory. Yeah, pulling off the truck, he pulled the pull up. And right now, fabulous Philip Otto complaining to the referee. As again, you see Polly dangerously oh, took off to the side. You know that? He's really aggravating out of Polly. Gilbert thrown into now. They're going to play some crisp spots. They'll be in the middle of the side. Oh, look at that. Andre trips no, up no, the no, leopard. He trips on the leopard. Come on. And uh, here comes Apollo with a chair. Oh, now that's real fair. Bill Apollo off to our left comes off with a chair and he changes both Andre. And now we got a. No, almost a bit in the. Do we have. No, a bit of kind of. I think that was a pinball. Action going all over as fabulous Bill Apollo chases dangerously and Dennis Andre no, back to the classic. Yeah, I could have swore he had a free count. No, I saw two count and so did you. Well, the that's G fair. Those comments don't even take a comment back. Well, for you, Mr. Rumble, yeah, after yeah, what we yeah. saw last week with you and D.D. Quantry and Judge Sager, you're despicable and disgusting, and the only reason I work with you is because I have a contract that says I must, and you know it. Hey, Tom, I've seen some of the geeks you've been working with lately. I'm a pleasure cruise to give it up. Well, one in particular, I, I, I guess. I've seen, seen a polo sitting in a desk. Can I use that was the best the host I've had oh, in the last month oh, between well, you and Dangerous. Yeah, that was the best segment you ever I'll had. When he got whacked over the head with the old cell phone. <laughs> Should have been a, a good time to retire. Right now you see Doug Gilbert in the ring and he is putting a neck brace and twist on it. That's a neck brace. That's a neck twist. Sitting next to you, it's the, the neck brace comes to mind for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it's odd for you to use it. That's easy to do. Right now, Doug Gilbert. Are you allergic? Smile, yeah, probably to you. Doug Gilbert having his way with the cheetah kid. Here comes the big can of snap suplex, I should say, Bobby D. Perfectly executed. Here comes the number one, two, three. No, he didn't get it. I think he didn't get it. No, he didn't get it. He got a count of two. The referee pushes his hands up quite obviously. Give an inaccurate analysis here, Doug, because you clear your head is water in the bottom. Fabulous fellow follow up on the sidelines trying to help his newest protege, the cheetah kid. Now, where did he find him as a tree in Africa? Oh, I'm I'm saying, you're supposed to be the genius behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't like cats. I'm not into cats. I'm into rats. I like rats. 
and the Leopard Bass, probably the most exciting new tag team combination to come along and run pro wrestling in a long, long time. Look at these party friends. There's the cover. One, two, three. No, we got Shut the cover. Shut up, stop being a piss uh, little slow count on the You're party official, I thought. Oh, yeah, a minute ago it was a fast count. Now it's a slow count. Get that way, It's a finger towel. Remember that. Again, Leopard Bass thrown across the ring. Into the ropes. Got back. Oh, look. It's Gilbert Slider. Pulled off. Oh, slow. And look at this fool. Oh, oh, I was right. Oh, here again. I mean, the Cheetah Kid, the Leopard Mask, Paulie Dangerously, Phil Apollo, the yeah, Lethal yeah. Weapons. They're uh, going to see each other after a while. Them brothers don't like each other. I have a feeling. They don't like each other, Dal. I'm going to tell you, I can tell. You see, I can tell, you know, things to people. I don't you can tell when people hate people? Yeah. You I, must I, sense I, that all the time. It seems like, it seems like I, I can feel that tension all the time. Yeah, I bet you that. can. Anybody you come in contact with gives you that feeling that uh, they don't like you, Mr. Umbo. Well, I cannot well, stand that. We'll be back with more right after these messages. You don't like me? Something you don't have, except yeah, no, that's, that's I got an uncle that might cousin you to call the Tasmanian devil. They're probably like laughing about 
But that ain't him. That ain't my uncle. No, I can believe that. The only thing you and his devil have happened. You do have one thing in common, and that's quickness, though, Mr. Rumble. He's very quick on his feet. Yeah, I think we got a little commercial. Let's not try to be fun. We got no commercial coming up. Right now, a good friend of mine that's very ably filled oh, in a lot while Rumble. you've been gone somewhere, uh, and that's the Diamond District with Diamond Jim Brady, a good friend from Waco, Texas. He's doing an interview now with someone I'm not too fond about, and Diamond Jim will have to watch that he don't get nailed with some Somebody pineapple. Need. Here's the Diamond District with his guest, the Hawaiian Hurricane. All right. You're backstage with Diamond Jim Brady at Touches Resort in the Catskills, New York. That's right. And right now, we get the hurricane with us. And he's got a big problem with Vic Steamboat. What do you got to say about that, Hurricane? There's no problem, Vic Steamboat. I'm going to beat you like a dog, and I'm going to show you everyone who the king of the islands really is. GQ Madison, you're done. Brandy, you can't even walk. Steamboat, you better hope. Hope for something a little bit less. They want to get those guys, because you see this, it's for you, brother, it's for you. Well, as you saw earlier, ladies and gentlemen, the activity that happened between the Cheetah Kid and Phil Apollo and Doug Gilbert and the Lethal Weapons and Paul Dangerously, as you said, I, I would use the word wisely, but more like a lot. Obviously quite a problem, and that is the fact that these four or six people don't like each other. They have signed next week there will be a tag team championship next week, the Lethal Weapons against the Cheetah Kid and, and Leopard. And if Atlas beats the Roadblock, he fights Anita? Next week. Double, right champ the double championship match next week. Guaranteed a double main event next week, but let's go to Atlas, right? Hey, no, first we're going to talk to Fabulous Phil Apollo, Cheetah Kid, and Leopard Mask, and find out exactly what they think about the main tag team championship match coming up next week on the, uh, on the ICW. Probably dangerously in all my years, I don't believe I had a better time than knocking you down and watching my team of Cheetah Kid and the Leopard Mask take the lethal weapons down. We've done it one-on-one. -on -one. We did it two-on-two. -two. Paulie, you want to stick your nose in? We took care of you three-on-three, -three, man. We've proven ourselves. Now next week, we get the opportunity to finish the mission, to complete our destiny. Of being the World Tag Team Champions. Cheetah Kid, brother, you were amazing, man. You were all over that ring. Tell me how it felt, Daddy. Oh, it was the most wonderful thing for Paulie Dangerously in the jungle where I come from. We step on snakes, brother. It's all over for you and your team to lose some weapons. It's the gun is over. We got the counters. And the counters to the counters to the counters. And Phil, with you in our corner, I don't see any way that we cannot succeed. Flipper mask. Well, you know that cats of Africa are predatory animals. And we have our eyes set. Our senses are keen. Yeah. We know our prey. Yes, we do. We know the prey, the lethal yeah. weapon. And we have our eyes set on them. Our claws are out. The end is near. We throw weapons and Paul E. Dangerously. Next week, the party's over, boys. It's time for you to relinquish the top spot. It's time for you to step off that mountain and rightfully relinquish it to the World Tag Team Champions. Cheetah Kid, Leopard Mask, Fabulous Phil. We won't be denied this time. Making his way into the ring right now, ladies and gentlemen. You see it. Six foot three, three hundred and nine, or six foot eleven, I should say, three hundred and ninety-five pounds. A man that beat four men last week here on the ICW. I'm talking about the roadblock. The roadblock. A man that has never been on the canvas since he's been in the ICW. He's been in the ring with the Brotherhood, and he's been coming right here. What a big spot, I don't think he's going to get you down a little. I bet he goes down. Now we shall see the roadblock. Six foot eleven. I'll tell you what, I'll buy you a two pig. I tell you to put your and money you where you week vacation. I would tell you to put your money where your mouth is, but there's not enough money in Fort Knox to put it where your mouth is. <laughs> the roadblock in the <laughs> ring right now, ladies and gentlemen, you see making his way down the aisle. The ICW heavyweight champion. That of course is Tony Atlas. One thing I will say about Atlas, so far, he has been able to back up what he has said. This may be his toughest opponent in a long, long, long time. Where are you going? You're going to need to know, and you don't Rumble, you're supposed to be working here with me. Where are you going? Tony Rumble making his way away from the broadcast booth here. I have no idea where he's going. Quite honestly, I guess I don't.
here. Tony Atlas does the square off against the roadblock here. And this is for the tag team, or rather for the heavyweight championship title. And Tony Rommel has made his way over to ringside. I don't know what he's doing over there, what he wants, but he has made his way over to ringside. And he's screaming and hollering at the roadblock, as you can see, or I guess you can't see on your monitors right now, ladies and gentlemen, but just behind the roadblock is Tony Rommel. And right now, Atlas and Roadblock squaring off. And now Rumble turns around to go over and the Roadblock is over. And look out, here comes Atlas from over there. His shoulders and over the head of the Roadblock. As Rumble gets involved, Atlas, one, two, three, it's all over. Disgusting, despicable, unbelievable. Rumble, put his nose. That happened so quick, I missed it. What happened, Rumble? Rumble, you put your nose where it doesn't what? belong. It's a sickening. What? It's terrible. What's the matter? I have to call me out. Tony Atlas, again, a champion no, that doesn't champion. deserve to be a champion. The roadblock down to the canvas for the first time in his career. I want and to only that. with the help of Tony Rubble. It's sickening. Ladies and gentlemen, that about does it all the time we have for this hour here on International Championship Wrestling. Hey, I was right, wasn't I down? Next week, ladies and gentlemen, what a show we have for you. We have got a double championship match next week, ladies and gentlemen, on the ICW. Hey, you will see the lethal weapons against the cheetah killing leopard bass. And Atlas and against that chap that thinks he's a champion. A champion, Tony Atlas Wait, against the Japanese eyes, champion, the frontier martial arts champion. We're going to open his eyes up, aren't we? Oh, oh, he's, uh, <laughs> we'll be back with more, ladies and gentlemen, next week. Hope you'll join us then. See you then. Bye. If you're looking for Symphony, New Jersey, 07054, or call 201-887-2698. That's 201-887-2698. The ICW, it's the hottest promotion of the 1990s. I don't know how much more despicable this man can run. Because Roadblock and even a fair match against oh, no. Atlas, look what you did to, to Ray Odyssey. This is sickening, Mr. Rumble. You're oh, a sick person. More next week, and hopefully we can find... We got rid of Dave this week? Maybe we can get rid of this guy for next week. This is sickening. We'll see you again next week right here on International Champions.